What a night for White Lotus and Ted Lasso, but a magical night for this Hollywood legend, the one and only Cheryl Lee Ralph. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. She really was the belle of the ball. E.T. with Cheryl after her emotional Emmy win, fit for a Hollywood dream girl. Am I ready? Hold that up again one more time. And the Emmy goes to Cheryl Lee Ralph. When I heard them say my name, I didn't believe it. And then you know. let out this beautiful song. Species, but I sing no victim song to anyone who has ever, ever had a dream and thought your dream wasn't, wouldn't, couldn't come true. I am here to tell you that this is what believing looks like. Yes, mommy! Yes, mommy! Yes, mommy! Yes, Cheryl's son shared two moments. This angle watching his mom win from the audience and praying backstage before the ceremony. Cheryl, who plays a kindergarten teacher on Abbott Elementary, is only the second black woman to win supporting actress in a comedy series since Jack A. Harry 35 years ago. Jack A. tweeted, welcome to the club. I wonder if I get paid more money for this. Congratulations to you. Could dare I ask you to sing? And I know where my voice belongs. Quinta Brunson. <laughs> Cheryl's co-star and boss, Quinta Brunson, got a standing ovation after her win for writing the show's pilot. And then... Jimmy, wake up, I won. Presenter Jimmy Kimmel continued his comedy bit, pretending to be passed out right into Quinta's acceptance speech. Kimmel received tons of backlash online. I don't know, tomorrow maybe I'll be mad at him. I'm gonna be on his show on Wednesday, so I might punch him in the face. Jimmy, you're alive. I know I'm alive, right? I'm okay, yeah. And celebrating Quinta tonight, I mean, is it not an amazing night to witness? You know what, she is so unbelievably talented and she's a lovely person as well. And fun fact, they took all their Emmy marketing money and used it to buy supplies for public school teachers. That's what it's all about. Our show doing it, it just backs up what the show is about. If I could get y'all more money, I would. And another amazing Abbott moment, Tyler James Williams and Henry Winkler, both up for outstanding supporting actor in a comedy series on our platform. Let me just say, what a wonderful, soothing teacher he played. He, I wish I had a teacher like that in my life. It fills me, man, that's, that's beautiful. Thank you. Those two went head to head, but the Emmy went to Ted Lasso's Brett Goldstein for the second year in a row. What I have realized is my mom stole the first one. I have to keep this one away from my dad, otherwise I'm never gonna have an Emmy, you know what I mean? How's the season going? You're shooting it right now in London? We're pretty close to the end. Is this the end? Oh boy, this question. We've been writing it like it's the end but I know we would all love to do it forever. It's all in Jason's hands. You have to ask Jason that. Will there be a season four of Ted Lasso? I don't know. It's up to more factors than myself. Uh, I, I apologize for not giving you um, a more direct answer because I understand that that's helpful for headlines. <laughs> for lead actor in the comedy series, Jason Sudeikis! The Emmy for the outstanding comedy series goes to Ted Lasso! Yeah, and there were actually four big wins for the Ted Lasso team. Jason thanked his kids with ex Olivia Wilde. Otis Daisy, I love you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you for season three at some point. We caught up with the cast celebrating at the Apple TV Plus party. Which cast member is going to get the rowdiest tonight, do you think? I will drink everyone under the table, but I won't you. get rowdy because I'm a gentleman. I took a picture of Brett when he won last year, last year, and so we've recreated that photo already, and I've put them both together already and put it on Twitter. Yeah. Can we talk about this bro moment on the red carpet? It's huh? No, it happens. It, it, it's happening right now. He's lost. Come back to me, Phil. Sorry, <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> the dreamy guy. The dreamy guy. Oh, and can we get back to Henry Winkler for a moment? Check out his other heartwarming run-in with the White Lotus star, Connie Britton. I mean, honestly, you've been an inspiration to me for my whole life. And I, I could cry meeting you. Maybe we'll work together. Connie B, Let's from your Let's mouth. <laughs> yes! Oh.
Connie, who was up for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series, lost to co-star Jennifer Coolidge. Thank you to my amazing uh, team. Wait, hold on. This marks the 61-year-old's first Emmy win, and the big moment went viral after she embraced the playoff music. Wait, hold on, okay. Backstage, Jennifer kicked off the celebrations, posing with her new accessory. The HBO show cleaned house. It not only took home outstanding limited series, but Murray Bartlett won the Golden Statuette for supporting actor. Creator, writer, and director Mike White also won back-to-back -back awards, impressive for the former Survivor contestant who finished second in 2018. I love writing, I love doing what I do. Like, don't come for me. Don't vote me off the island, please. It was actually Mindy Kaling and B.J. Novak who presented Mike the honor. The former Office co-stars and besties kept us guessing about their relationship with this. That show, that would take up your whole life. You had no choice but to form insanely complicated relationships with your co-stars. That's right. And did we miss a Tom Holland shout out from the Emmy's youngest two-time winner, Zendaya? Thank you to my friends and family, some of which are here tonight. Um, you didn't shout out Tom. Was that not, no, no? No, no, he's part of my loved ones. Uh. So where was her loved one? Tom was in New York shooting his 1970s anthology series, The Crowded Room, but just 12 days ago, they celebrated her 26th birthday together. What did we do for 26? 26, I just, I was just chilling. Yeah. I was chilling with, with loved ones. With loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> What you gonna do tonight? I'm gonna do a little wardrobe change, you know, I'm gonna do a, you know, two, a little two-step and then head on home. Zendaya did just that, quick changing to Red Valentino for the HBO Bash, while Amanda Seyfried took her award to bed after some party. Yeah, I'm like, it's uh, surreal and I'm super sober. Amanda got support from adoring hubby, Thomas Sadowski, who skipped his own movie premiere to be there. It's the best no. day night ever. No, I know. Um, Mostly because so the much. kids aren't here. No. Oh, no! <laughs> we don't mean that. We love our kids. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Cuoco made her PDA-filled red carpet debut with her new man, Ozark's Tom Pelfrey. Sarah Paulson and girlfriend Holland Taylor got cozy, while Melanie Linsky's hubby, Jason Ritter, played stylist. <laughs> Got so strange. In memoriam, performer John Legend and expectant wife Chrissy Teigen showed off the Emmy snack box. Her caption, oh, I'm gonna need more than this, LOL. Where's the baby? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> also hitting the carpet, Ben Stiller. His date wasn't his recently reconciled wife, Christine Taylor. Instead, he brought their look-alike 20-year-old daughter, Ella. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Rachel Brosnahan's constant plus one, husband of six years, Jason Ralph. We have two episodes left to shoot. How's that getting, shooting these last two episodes? It's gotta be heartbreaking. I think it's finally starting to hit us. Yeah. I grew up on this show, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in for a delayed border life crisis when we're done. <laughs> well, this TV twosome will never be done. And the nominees. It's one of those forever jobs, isn't it? The crew, I mean, everybody. Could you stay away from this? <laughs> Hold this. Yeah. Julia Garner also made it a date night with her rocker husband, Foster the People frontman Mark Foster. Just take me out of Julia Garner. Backstage, the double nominee planted a kiss on her third Ozark Emmy for supporting actress in a drama series. Julia admitted she blinked on thanking the man. Okay, wow. Uh, did not, um, I blacked out my husband I forgot to thank. <laughs> it's an out-of-body experience. Jean Smart. The most unexpected acceptance speech shout-out came from lead actress in a comedy winner, Jean Smart. I lost a bet, I promised her man, thank you for the Botox. Thank you. I'm serious. The Hacks TV legend also thanked co-star Hannah Einbinder, who teased how the two will reconcile in season three. I think that they're able to just come together and really just thrive. Go ahead, admire your work. Dope Six Michael Keaton told me winning's cool and all, but this was his next level moment. Michael Keaton, Dope Six! And how about that Oprah hands me one? Seriously, how many has she won? Oprah has 15 Emmy Awards, but all it took was two for Squid Game to make history. Lee Jung Jae! Lead actor in a drama winner, Lee Jung Jae, and outstanding director for a drama series, Wong Dung Yok, are now the first Asian and Native Koreans to win those categories. So, where are you going tonight? Uh, we'll drink, right? <laughs> That's the universal language. Succession. 
Succession beat out both Squid Game and Better Call Saul in the outstanding drama category. But Bob Odenkirk told me he will always feel like a winner after surviving his onset heart attack last year. Listen, the reason I'm here is because my castmates were standing right there and Ray ran over and grabbed my head and yelling to get someone. This is why this works. I go too far and you pull me back. Our friendship saved us because we were allowed to go back to our trailers, but instead he hung out and we, we saw him start to faint. I dove to catch his head before he hit the concrete. If he had been in his trailer, it'd be a very different story.